The High Court of Australia defines religion as practices and beliefs that point to a set of values and the understanding of the meaning of existence. In Australia, we don't have any state religion, though some religious groups were afforded more rights than others. According to the 2006 census, there were 19.85 million people in Australia. In terms of religious affiliation, 63.9% of the population described themselves as Christians. The next largest group was the no religion category and they come in at 18.7%. The remaining 17.3% of the population was made up of other religions at 6.1% and 11.2% did not state a religious affiliation. Advertising is generally a form of communication which persuades people to buy or consume a particular brand, product or service. Christian advertising is very prominent, especially in metropolitan areas. But what say if atheism wanted to advertise? The Atheist Foundation of Australia wanted to put ads on buses, a big sign saying, celebrate reason. I recently spoke to David Nichols, president of the Australian Atheist Foundation. Why would you want to advertise atheism? To make people think we are faced with or many societies, uh, even democratic societies, where religion has too much hold on what goes on. But this is where the plot thickens. APN Outdoor, Australia's biggest outdoor advertising agency, flat out said no to the idea. Now in supposed secular society, this just seems wrong. This just isn't a religious issue, it's an issue of free speech. Would you say Australia is a uh, secular society? Yes, we are a secular society, and more so than most countries on the planet. And it's very unusual uh, that such a sign that is so inoffensive is disallowed in a secular society. And as I say, we should all be up in arms about that. Why do you think APN Outdoor has uh, rejected your proposal to advertise? I think they're just spooked by the idea that we're atheists and that must mean something bad. Uh, you know, there, there are connotations with the name atheist that lead people to make decisions that are incorrect. APN has been influenced by this uh, very false idea that's running around and they won't allow our signs to go on their buses. And by the way, they have not given us a reason why the signs were not allowed on their buses. Not only have APN Outdoor rejected the advertising proposal, the Australian media have almost neglected to mention anything about this issue. There is an establishment view in Australia that says, no, religion uh, is a no-go area. To highlight the lack of media attention, I found three articles on this issue. One from a News Limited site, one from a Fairfax site, and one from an ABC site. Step one, go to the website. Step two, copy and paste the article into Word. Now look at the word count. Do this two more times. As you can see, the ABC story was the largest with 612 words, followed by the Sydney Morning Herald of Fairfax paper at 375 words and in last place, News Limited's Herald Sun at 175 words. So what does all this mean exactly? This story's aim is just to point out that the media has had very little coverage in what seems to be a very clear-cut freedom of speech issue. During the course of this story, our producer tried to get in contact with APN Outdoor, but they declined to talk to us. So what's next for the Atheist Foundation of Australia? Currently they're pursuing the matter of the flat out rejection with the Victorian Human Rights and Equal Opportunities Commission and also the Anti-Discrimination Board of Tasmania. While some people may disagree with atheist signage on the side of buses, it just doesn't matter because it's an issue of free speech rather than religion and that's protected under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Section 19. <laughs>